Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to deploy Redis data structure server on Ubuntu 15.04. Now before we go in depth of Redis server and we go with the proceeding of the installation of Redis server on Ubuntu 15.04, let us first of all know what is meant by Redis server, why it was being developed and what are its some features. Redis is basically a data structure server. It is an open source networked in memory and store keys with optional durability. The development of Redis was being sponsored by Redis Lab since June 2015. Before that, it was being sponsored by Pivotal Software and VMware. And according to the monthly ranking of db-engines.com, Redis is regarded as one of the most popular key value databases. And it is also regarded as number one NoSQL database in user satisfaction and market presence on the basis of user reviews. So it is basically written in NCC and it is available for cross platform, which means you can install it on Windows and even on Linux. And it is basically of the type key value stores and license is under BSD. And if we talk of the latest version, the Redis is being launched with 3.0.7, which is the latest stable version. And this is the itself version, which we are going to install on Ubuntu 15.04 in just a matter of couple of seconds. And if you open the main website, as you can see on the screen, it is redis.io. This is the main screen. It also says it is an open source BSD license in memory data structure source used for database cache and memory broker. So if you click on this documentation, you can find lots and lots of things which you can understand tutorials, FAQs, and all the administration relation issues. And if you click on commands, you can find hundreds of commands, which uh, you can click on any command like cluster meet. So cluster meet is already explained and how to use it. It has also been explained in depth. So a very good documentation is being provided by Redis server. So in this video, I will be demonstrating how to install and some commands, which I have shortlisted for you people so that you can have an hands on experience on Redis server and rest you can understand with this website and you can practice your commands on Ubuntu 15.04 after it gets installed. So let us start on uh, our VMware machine and I have told you that I've already installed 15.04 version Ubuntu and uh, you can say I will be uh, giving you step-by-step -step deployment of Redis server. So all of these commands are being shortlisted for you people and uh, it is available downstairs on the video and you can just use it as such in order to install the Redis server. So before we start with anything, let us first of all log in with root. So the same command as you space minus and let us give the password. And after that, we have to update the system so that we can have all the updates ready. So apt hyphen get update. So after the update, we have to update the sources list so that we can readily deploy the Redis server on Ubuntu 15.04. Good. So now we can clear it. So now, first of all, we have to add the, add these type of these two documentations into our nano source list. So let us take this command and let us open the source dot list using the nano text editor. So let us go downstairs. So in the down, you have to just copy paste these two repository so that we can able to install the Redis server. So let us copy this and let us paste it. So let us remove the distance between them. Good. So control X, yes, and enter, which means it has been updated. So let us add the Redis server key so that we should be able to install the Redis server securely. So the key has been downloaded. So let us add this key to the Ubuntu repository. So it is okay. So now we have to add the repository of Redis server. So press enter. So it is again saying Redis is an open source advanced key value store. So the key has been generated which means everything is going fine. So now we have to update the system. So the same command apt hyphen get update. So now you can see that the dot tab and the Redis server has been deployed inside our Ubuntu repository. And now we are able to give the apt hyphen get install command to deploy the Redis server. So 
So let us copy this command. Clear. Paste. So now you can see that uh, it is uh, requiring about 565 KB. So it is not a very big package. It can be just installed in a matter of seconds. So the main thing is that you have to follow the steps in a proper and efficient manner. So now we have to download the Redis server. So you can get either the stable release or you can just change it to 3.0.7 in order to have the latest version. So I will be automatically downloading the latest stable version into my machine. So copy paste with the wget command and I am downloading the stable version. So automatically it will be downloading 3.0.7, the latest current release. So it is about 1.3 MB, so not a very big server. So let us start it. You can say unzip it. Let us give you the show. That is redis-stable.tar.gz has been there. So tar xzf redis-server.stable. So if we go with ls, it has been extracted. So let us go to this directory and let us fire this command that is called make. So it will take some time, approximately two to three minutes. I will not be stopping the video so that you can have the live experience what is going to happen and what is going to be made. So if everything goes well and fine, you will be getting uh, the OK message and the success message. So all our CC files, which is called C compiler files with .o extension. So now you can see that the installation of server has been started. So now you can see that uh, I want to fire this command that is apt hyphen get install TCL 8.5. So again, 746 KB, so not a very big software. Now we have to fire the main command that is make test, which will almost complete the Redis server installation. So make test. So now there are almost 37 tests which has to be passed, which will again take two to three minutes depending on your machine. So six out of seven, 30, uh, 37 tests are already been done. So seven out of 37, so it will be passing on. And after that, we have to make the install version. So everything is uh, succeeding. So 15 tests are already been passed. So all these are binary files. So it's, I can say that it is very good to work on Linux and uh, installing such a Redis server will uh, give you more enhancement and more grip towards Ubuntu operations. So now we can see that almost 24 tests are being passed. So we just wait a couple of seconds more, about a minute, or I can say less than a minute and then we will be firing up the next commands. So only seven tests are being left out.
so we are almost on the verge of completion 35 tests are being done and we will uh, go with the last step that is all tests pass without error so we can say that uh, almost we are verge of completion so last command that is called make install so all thing is done so go to this uh, folder that is cd utils and we have to install a script so just copy paste this script and paste it so just press enter enter for uh, the default things so redif config file redif log file data directory executable path enter so it is installing the service and now you can see that the redis server has been installed and installation is successful so let us start the service that is service redis underscore 6379 which is the port number let us start it so if you go with the stop it is stop so let us uh, go with this command and start the redis server so redis hyphen cli so now you can see that it has connected to the local host and now let us give this command ping so it will return the answer pong so which means that redis server is working very fine so we can give another question uh, you can say command that is set foo bar okay so get foo so now you can see that uh, redis is working correctly so let us give this command last command in which uh, we will be updating the rc.d so that whenever we restart the server the redis should be uh, restarted by default so everything is being set and redis is being working in a very beautiful and proper manner so in this video i have told you how to install the redis server do take a look do give it a shot and try to practice more and more commands which are being given on its website it's a very wide server very good exposure and very good you can say experience to hands on i hope you like this video thank you so much